Taurus, welcome to Ascending Spiritually. So this is going to be for all Taurus placements. It doesn't just have to be Sun, Moon, or Rising. This is going to be um, just a general reading. We're going to take a look and see what messages you need to know. So take what matches and toss what doesn't. If you like personals, the info for that is in the description box below. The gender of the cards also don't matter. So I'm not going to timestamp this. So when you watch this is most likely when it will resonate. King of Cups. Six of Wands, Queen of Swords. Some of you could be dealing with possible air sign, or you may need to watch the Libra energy because there's a lot of similar cards here. You may have a choice that you need to make. Some of you, this could be a choice between two different people or two different paths, or simply just staying single and maintaining the independence that you have earned. Because as the Six of Wands is here, it seems like someone wants your attention. This person... In a way, they see you as the end-all, be-all. This is someone that has a lot of emotions and love towards you, but they regret how things, you know, played out in the past. And with the Three of Cups, this person wants to reunite and give you, I guess, the relationship that they were not ready to give you, or just the commitment, or even a goal. Let's say this is a boss figure. This boss was not willing to give you what you deserved in the past, right? So maybe you quit, you went and you found a new job. Once you quit, this foundation that was in the background actually ended up collapsing so you were doing a lot for this company and they took you for granted and it wasn't until you left and everything started to fall apart that they realized your value so this could even be an offer like hey come back we'll pay you more we'll give you what it is that you deserve but you know this is something that i feel you're just not interested in anymore the nine of pentacles energy is impatience it's like you don't have patience for whatever this is you've already found stability within yourself and it's the time for you to put your boundaries up because as a lover's card is here some of you have been celibate or you just you need love you need to be touched it's been a while since you know someone has made you feel this way and i feel like that's coming in for you soon those of you that are in a relationship there could be some sort of outside interference from a past ex I feel like this is more on your end where there's an ex that possibly wants you back and you could be in a relationship. But if you are single, this is just two different people that are interested in you. I feel like one person, though, is like a deadbeat or a gambler. You know, they'll gamble with your heart, your love, your money, everything. This is someone who's pessimistic. They lack common sense. This is not someone that is worth committing to, but it doesn't mean that, you know, you can't have a good time with certain people. Sometimes it's go out. Sometimes it's good to go out and just experience people and energy that way you can see okay this is what i like this is what i don't like you sometimes have to see the opposite ends of the spectrum to be able to gauge what is right for you so as the three of cups is here this is also the time for you to go out and celebrate go out with your friends when's the last time you know you were able to let loose you have a good time with the people that you love that's what you should be focusing more on right now especially with the holidays coming around try not to be in the energy where you're alone because some of you get like holiday blues or just holiday depression, seasonal depression that's caused not just by winter, but it's just the season where there's a lot of things that usually crumble down and are built again around this time of year. So between November and February, for me, I know it's usually chaotic, um, but just know anything that you lost in the past, you actually have brand new beginnings coming in for you and it's not good to dwell on missed opportunities because in a way rejection is also God's blessing so let me see because you're protected from whatever you know this king of cups was trying to bring your way but it seems like there is one person that truly does care for you it's just a matter of you know do you want to deal with them or not but there is something that you're genuinely concerned about with toil and labor I feel like you've been overexerting yourself, overworking yourself, overdoing it. So take the time out to rest and put yourself first and your needs first. That's why there's an emphasis on boundaries being put up. You are also receiving a gift in the near future. So if things have been looking bleak as far as like opportunities, just know that things can always change, especially when you're on the good side of karma, which is what it seems like here. One of the lessons that you needed to learn was how to solidify your boundaries, especially with people that know how to manipulate you emotionally. Um, these are people that were close to you, that I feel misjudged you or just used you. It could be friends, family members, even people that you held near and dear to your heart. You are a position. You are in a position of high honor, not just in the spirit's eyes, but I feel here as well, where you set high standards for yourself, and I feel like people tend to disappoint you even. 
because they don't have these kind of standards for themselves. So how are they going to match up with, you know, what you want? So as the community is here, some of you may have been shunned, isolated or outcasted from a certain community. And this was actually a blessing in disguise because these people were not part of your soul path. If anything, they were keeping you stuck and bound. We have a message. Yeah, you may receive a message from someone in the past that you left in the past, essentially. This person now wants to say that they're mature. If you do have a person who's in and out coming, in and out, you know, they only give you attention here and there. This person, you know, they'll hit you up at odd times of the night. This person's already in a relationship and they're a cheater and a deadbeat, which is why I said this person, um, they are disloyal in love and you know they they will neglect their partner for money and superficial things so if you have an inkling that someone's already in a relationship and they're kind of doing something to betray their partner please stay please stay out of that because you're already in a good position and the last thing you want to do is jeopardize what you have coming in for somebody who is not even worth it judication is here to show that there is some sort of court case proceeding that will be solved um this is like some judgment coming through where you could receive a large amount of money so if you have been waiting for something in particular, this could even be taxes, it's coming. You'll receive some sort of official message from the government where you'll be receiving some sort of unexpected income. So let's use my Truthful Love Messages deck. This does come with the gold trim. This is available for sale on my Etsy shop. The link for that will be below. When I'm not with you, I'm on dating apps, reaching out to other potential lovers. So that's what this person was doing in the past. This is what caused the separation because they were essentially being selfish. It says, I still love my ex very much, even though we're not together. So there could have been an ex that came between you and this King of Cups, which may have made him manipulate you somehow. Um, but he doesn't want this ex anymore. He or she, this person, I feel they went back to whoever they thought was better than you, whatever grass they thought was greener, and they essentially... Now they're concerned because they realize that whatever they wanted, it wasn't actually good for them. We also have, I don't understand how we even got here. Everything was just fine. This person wants to act somewhat delusional. So unless this King of Cups is coming back with accountability, ready to change, ready to do things differently this time, then I, I honestly feel like you should not even waste your time. What else do you need to know? I have too many other things on my plate to be able to focus on us. So you have things in your life that you are now working on. This could be new hobbies, new creative outlets. If you don't have any now, it is highly suggesting that you find, you know, a new way to channel what you've been through. Something that involves you using your hands because your hands are what is gold. Whatever you touch will turn to gold because you seem to have the Midas touch. We also have, I lost everything I put above you and your needs, and I guess that's my karma, so someone's feeling regretful because everything they put above you, they've lost it. We also have, I did something I'm afraid of, and I'm ashamed and scared that you'll find out and look at me different, differently. I think I said afraid. No, I did something I am ashamed of, not afraid. So, yeah, with that in reverse, whatever secrets were being kept, you already know it all. You know it. As the mature woman, you've gained wisdom through experience and foresight. Like you've grown a lot up until this point. You're very calm and collected. We also have I only care about what is going to make me happy. This is the energy of the people that you should avoid because this came out in reverse for you. So you're very empathic. You care about people in general. Like you have a very good heart. You're very pure. You're soft internally. And it's important that you protect that because there are a lot of abusers out here that prey on people like you so those boundaries are important essentially that's why the queen of swords is here that's why she looks so stern this is that resting bitch face because you have to you know protect your energy from people that don't deserve it we also have i'm lustful towards another person right now they have my attention and i want to taste them too that's in reverse um but this king of pentacles here i said king of pentacles this is a knight of pentacles in reverse like i said most likely workaholic lazy impatient person neglects their partners at the bottom of the deck it says i don't know what i want yet i'm still figuring things out so if you do have an option in love pay attention to the red flags because this person is going to be throwing lots of red flags your way to let you know that they're not the one for you or that they're not worth investing into it really just depends on your specific situation let's see before i let you go let's get you some oracle messages Okay. 
what does Taurus need to know? Taurus placements. Beauty. Do things that make you feel beautiful. Dress nicely. Put your makeup on. Go get your hair done. Get your nails done. There's an emphasis on needing to pamper yourself. Um, so as you heal yourself, you also heal the collective. So if you want to change the world, the first way to change the world is by changing you and changing from within. We also have making new friends. So there's an emphasis on needing to be around new people, a new crowd, people that understand you, that are not committed to misunderstanding you. And we also have problems resolved. So any issues that you may have been having, any snakes in your circle, those problems are going to be resolved. You're almost like a snake charmer at this point. With the amount of knowledge and wisdom that you have, it's like people look at you and they think you're immature or they think that you're naive and you're somebody to pull the wool over and they quickly realize that they had the wrong impression. We also have laughter. So laughing, humor, lightheartedness, that's important right now to you know raise your vibration as well as having positive expectations. We all have bad days where sometimes we get spells of negativity. Have you ever noticed where when, when one bad thing happens and you focus on that, it's just like a ripple effect of negative things that occur after that? So know that if you can shift your perspective and just change how you see things, it can potentially help you manifest quicker as well. We have higher consciousness in reverse. So some of you were dealing with people with letting go here that you were meant to let go of because they were honestly blocking your gifts, your intuition. These are people that were, co were committed to basically siphoning and smothering your power. So you were in an environment that was just not conducive to your growth, whether it was a friends group, career, family, exes, and you're now working through that. You're rising above problems, and this is through wisdom, foresight, your intuition, and experience as well. You've transformed. That's amazing. What else? Ruminate. So try not to stay in your head too much unless you're thinking about, you know, ideas and things that will benefit you in life, reawaken. It's almost as if like you're getting this new zest for life where you're looking at things in a completely different way. We also have growth. It's fitting for this card to come out because that's essentially the theme of this whole reading and awareness. You gained a new form of awareness where now that baby's eyes are open. Your eyes are completely open to the world, different realms. You're just a highly evolved soul now. And you have hidden blessings coming in. Oh my goodness. That's amazing. I can't wait. Comment and let me know what good things are coming in because I am one of those people that just enjoys people getting their justice because you are somebody who is very kind, especially to children. Children love you. They are drawn to you. And yeah, that's what I'm seeing. So like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment and I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Bye.